Agriculture is a very old industry. And if you look back over time, the enterprises that have survived and thrived have had sustainable practices at their core. But for institutional investors coming into agriculture, they're now also demanding that agriculture not only incorporates sustainable practices, but also looks and analyzes for opportunities to reduce their emissions and to integrate that into their overall management of the landscape. The opportunity that CEFC and CDPQ as investors into Wilga farming bring is very exciting for us here at Gunagri Partners. We're able to tap into a very deep knowledge and network on carbon emissions and then CDPQ's global footprint with regards to asset management. Farmland Investments presents as a great diversifier when you have a portfolio of investments that range from equities to bonds to other real assets. They're underpinned by macro thematics of a growing population globally with a demand for sustainably produced food. So that's necessarily a recipe for value creation in the future. The Burma aggregation consists of two properties, the Glen and Burma itself, roughly about 40 kilometres apart, Burma consisting of 5,100 hectares and the Glen 1,200 hectares. Here at Burma, which was traditionally used as a livestock production farm, we're changing the use to its highest and best use. So we're growing crops like wheat, barley, canola, chickpeas, and some summer crops such as sorghum, but we're also managing the natural capital assets the vegetation, the waterways, and we'll be looking for opportunities to sequester carbon and across all of our farming practices to reduce our emissions in what we do. Regenerative farming means sustainability and efficiency. We need to first of all focus on those particular areas and adopt ideas and strategies that fit within our environment. And as we go on that journey of, of efficiencies and sustainability, that's when we can achieve full regenerative businesses. We have a lot of great local staff who've been embedded within the local community for a number of years. We're always looking locally rather than bringing in outside expertise. Who wouldn't want to, you know, wake up to this every day? Every time you go to the supermarket and you buy a kilo of flour to make your scones, you're immediately connected to where that came from without even knowing it. Investing in this asset class, investing in the people that really generate amazing things out of nature is something to be really proud of, but also excited about. <laughs>